Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Take a knee. Sit down for a minute. Let's go over real quick what we practiced today. You guys down there, we did the coil drills, right? Yep. Now listen, the coil drills, we're on our back leg. We're working on getting this leg loaded because when we hit and it's time to turn, this back leg has got to turn. Everyone got that? Yeah. So I've got to learn how to load it. Infield play. We worked on getting our feet wide, getting our back what? Straight. Yeah, flat or straight. Where do we want our hands? Front. Out front. There's two things you got to see at the same time. What are they? Ball and glove. Ball and glove. Good. So I can't be back here because I can't see my glove. All right? Got it? And if I look at my glove, I can't see the ball. Got it? Any questions with that? No. Here's a trick one. When the ball is hit, a ground ball, what side of the ball do you get to? Right. 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 No? Right. I got to get to the right because I'm going to throw to the left. Everyone got it? If you're a lefty, you can do the opposite. Yeah. I got another question. When you approach the ball, which, what's your footwork when you approach the ball? Right, left. Yeah. Left, right. right, left. Left, right is for lefties only. Yeah. Okay? So righties are going to be right, left. When I feel the ball, now I'm going to throw it. What's my footwork? Right, right, right left. left. So it's right, left field, right, left throw. Got it? Outfield work real quick. What do we work on today? Drop step. Drop step. Drop step. Open up to our left and open it up to our right. When we have to run for the ball, how do we run for the ball? We sprint and pump our arms. We don't run like this. Everyone got it? Okay, I sprint like this as hard as I can. Okay? try and get under it. If you can get under it, get under it. There's sometimes you can't get under it and you gotta catch it with one hand. All right? Base running. What do you do after you hit the ball? You run hard and then what do you do? No, not yet. You find the ball. You find the ball. Why do you find the ball? Yeah, you know if you have to run straight through the bag or you have to turn. All right? Let's say I hit a single and I'm going to turn or I hit a double. What part of the bag am I stepping on? Inside part of the bag. Everyone got it? I got a few more. If you're just running hard through the bag, after I touch the bag, which part of the bag do I touch when I'm running straight through? Oh, no, no. Oh? No, the middle. Front. front. Yep. Front part of the bag. I get through the bag. What do I do? Turn right. right. Yep. Right. Hold look on. Right. I break it down. And which way do I look? Right. To the right. Why do I look to the right? See if it's an overthrow. See if it's an overthrow. If it's an overthrow, what do I do? I turn and run here. Let's say that. Let's say that I'm safe and the ball is at the bag, which way do I turn to get back to the bag? Right. right. Turn to the right. Why don't I turn to the left? Because they can tag you out. They can tag you out. Very good. Any questions with that? What are we doing pitching today? Yeah, we worked, we worked on one leg, right? We worked on our front leg when we're here. We worked on our back leg when we start to drive. Everyone got it? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. All right. Any questions so far? No. no. Nothing. All right, this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to break you guys up by teams. We're going to have a little wiffle ball game, okay? We won't, keep, we won't keep score. Hey, listen real quick before we go. Each team has a coach. Your coach will pitch. All right, I'm going to put the teams together. Hold on one second. I'm going to call out your team. On coach. Go, get through the bag. Break it down, turn to the right. Go, get through the bag. Straight through. Break it down, look to the right. All the way, Noah. You guys gotta remember, G's at third making this throw. It's gonna be two or three hops to get the first base. Good chance, it's gonna get by him. JoJo's playing first, ball seen him, he can't pick. Right? Here we go. Yeah, get through the bag. Through it. Break it down. Look to the right. Yeah, make sure we break it down. I want to talk real quick about a couple things. We're going to stand up now. We're going to spread our feet. We're going to get nice and low. And I want you to have your back flat. Everyone got that? All right, your back is flat. 
If I, anyone seen an ironing board before? Yes. Okay, you should be flat as an ironing board. I should be able to iron right off your back, okay? I, I need your hands out front, okay? I can't have my hands back here. If I have my hands underneath my legs, can I see my glove? No. No, I have to do this. Can I see the ball? No. no. The ball's out there. I always got to see my glove and the ball at the same time. Everyone got it? Yeah. Hands out front. Okay, this bare hand. I want this bare hand above, my fingers up, slightly off to the side. Everyone got that? Yeah. When the ball goes in, I use both hands to trap the ball. Cool? If the ball is within my body, I don't just use one hand. I use two hands, feel the ball, and then I bring it right to my middle like that. Everyone got that? So my hands come to the middle, my elbows go out like this, roll it back to your partner. Yeah, bend your knees, bend your knees. Bend your knee up, bend those knees a little bit more. Good, that away. Good, Braden. Yeah, stay down there, Mateo. Good, let me see it. Oh, nice, Kalen. Good. Get down there, James. Let me see it, Ty. Good. Yes. Now we're gonna roll the ball to our partner. When it's rolled, I need to get to the right of the ball so I can work back to the left to field it. Everyone got that? So watch. Payton's gonna roll me the ball. I'm gonna get to the right. I'm gonna work back towards my target and set up the throw. Don't throw it. Everyone got that? Yeah. See how I worked? One more time. See how I worked to the right? Go ahead again. I worked to the right, and when I get here, I'm in the same position we just worked on. Everyone got it? That's the position. And when I come into the ball, watch my feet. I go right, left, field it. Ready? I come here, I go right, left, field it. And then I could go right, left, and get ready to throw, okay? That's what we're, we're working on right now. Pump the arms, ready? Go. There you go, run it, run it, run it. Good job. There you go. Good, turn and run. Better get behind it, that away. Good job. So we're gonna start with a little movement series, and it's gonna be a lot of single leg stuff. And then the reason we're doing that is because when you're pitching, uh, you're doing a lot of single leg work, right? You're starting here, you're on one leg this whole time, then you get to two, but then when you follow through, you're coming back to one leg, right? Over here, we got a ladder. So what we're doing is if we're on the left leg, we're hopping through, staying square, right? We're not opening up this way. We're keeping our shoulders square towards, towards the fence, okay? So we're doing those over here. And over here, we're doing a similar thing, but now we're gonna be facing forward, still single leg. Going in between, the hash is kind of like a bigger box than over there. So for this one, I want you guys to think getting more height, jumping high. So jumping high, stick, high, jumping high. Okay? Sound good? Working on driving that front hip into the fence. Okay? And you're going to get the power of pushing to the fence with your back leg. If you guys break the fence, that means you guys are doing a really good job. <laughs> a really good job. Ball and glove, like just like we talked about when we were playing catch. All right, and you're gonna push, okay? So see, back leg slightly bent, front hip into the fence, and I'm pushing. Watch the steal! <laughs> Charge the mound! Out! Touch it! Touch the line and back! Oh, he lost his hat. Go! Touch the line with your hand! Run, G! Yeah, touch the line, Max. Go. Run, Sam. Run. Run, Nick. Carry up. Oh, my God. Wing's going to win the race. Go, 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 go
Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way, eyes behind the glove. Nice and low, glove out front. Nice and low, get those eyes behind your glove. Away, good. Left foot on that line. Up, ready, set, jump. Go up, ready, set, jump. Try to be powerful, as powerful as you can. Life was on you. Back. Yeah, don't hang out there, you're gonna get picked. Once there's no contact, get back. And back, quick. Yeah, quickly back. You land, no action, get back. 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 G. What do you mean you don't run bases? I think you stole like eight bases last year. The, the tragedy of the courtesy runner. runners for catchers. I got, I got the pinch runner. Hey, gee, what happens when there's no more courtesy runner? Oh, there's always going to be a courtesy runner. I'll what just make up the rule. What happens I'll come when, after you to the bathroom. What happens when you get to, <laughs> when you get to the big leagues? What are you going to do? I'm going to tell why I go to the bathroom. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll buy that. Yeah, I'll get a substitute. I'll get a substitution. Okay, there's no re-enter in the big yeah. leagues. Oh, I'll just tell them, I'll just give somebody my jersey. <laughs> what? There we go, still breaks. We gotta get Charlie signed up for football. Who? 13 year old Charlie. He'd kill someone. Good, reading his feet. Hey, stop on the bag when you go back. Can't run over it. Pick them off right here, see what they do. Yep, stop on the bag. In athletic position, fielding up front, so you can see the ball. And if you miss it, it's gonna bounce up to your chest and drop down. Not really moving our feet here. We're trying to roll right to the center. Got a really good 12 year old right there. Very good. I reclassed about. <laughs> He's reclassed eight times. He's a 2030. Oh, what a terrible toss. Get out, Chase. Yep, bring it to your middle. Good. Bring it to your middle. Bring it to the middle. Good. Again, get lower, back flat. Yeah. What are you guys, eight and nine? These are our eight and nine year olds right there. Nice. That a baby. Let's see it. Go, sprint, sprint, sprint. Nice play. Good, sprinting. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Hey, that away. Ready, go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, be nice and loud. Go. Go ahead, go ahead. Good job. Go. I got it, I got it, I got it. Good job. Coach Tim's arm's going to need some ice. Yeah, you Maybe know some it. heat. Ready, Maybe a little bit of both. Around. What are you doing? Uh -oh. Well, I got to speak to you one more time. You lose your lunch. That's it. I'm going to eat it. Good job. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, three three times, Charlie. I got it. Gee, tell him what to do. You got to catch the ball. Every time, Sean. You ain't going all the way. got to catch the ball. How many I got it? Three. But you got to look good while you do it. Because if you don't look good, there's no point. You got to be loud, though. You got to look good. I'm loud. I'm Italian. 
Oh, yeah. I thought Italians wait, were louder. Wait, wait, I'm not the greatest at but I'm loud. Okay. You guys all right? That's why you yeah. got to call it. All right, we'll make sure G right, gets the ball right here. Let's see how loud he is. Ready, go. There goes G. I got it. Got it, got it. That boy, G. Hey, not bad. That was pretty loud. Great. <laughs> Going on the YouTube. Yeah. It's pretty good. Ready to show it. Pretty, pretty good for a catcher. Gavin's got the deep throws. Coach Tim's got the short ones. There you go. Good. Ready, go. Talk. There we go. Yeah, a little sun work, too. Ready, go. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> we always put the outfielders so they have to field in the sun. If you can catch it in the sun, you can catch it when it's cloudy or without the sun get around it good nice away Oh yeah, ball's crushed. Oh yeah. Oh, the hat's off. The hat is off now. Yeah. Ha, oh, you almost hit me. <laughs> there you go, get around it. Get rid of it. Good. Get around it. Right left field, right left throw. Good, get around it. G, this time now, quick, two steps. Right, left, get rid of it. One more time each. Get around it, get rid of it. Same thing, go two step. Right, left, throw. Right, left, throw. Tag him. He's on the base. Throw it. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. Got him. Nice. Oh, you missed him. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, get him. Oh, he's fast. Let's review a few things. Talked about stealing second base, correct? Yeah. Okay. If I'm the pitcher, what are we looking at to know if we should go or back? Their back. Their legs. Their legs. Okay. So, watch. If I get set and you have the steal and my left foot lifts first, what are we doing? Go. If I get set and my right back. heel. Back. Back. So we're looking at both feet so we can see which one lifts first. Everyone got it? Yes. Okay. You don't have a steal on, right? No steal. The pitcher delivers the ball. What are we doing? Two shuffles. Two shuffles. Secondary lead. Two shuffles. What happens if there's no action? The ball is swung through or just caught by the catcher? Secondary. Back. 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 I'm back. back. Hard crossover back, right? Yeah. We're not just sitting out there like this because what happens if you sit out there you get a back pick exactly all right everyone understands that yes okay outfield uh, what did we talk about when we're running to catch a ball so we worked on coming in to catch it we worked on right and we worked on left when we run how do we run after a ball don't stop we're not stopping right so we practice on running through the catch right it's easy if you just run and then stop and catch it. But you've got to run hard and you've got to work on running on the balls of your feet so your head's not doing this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When I run, I run this way. When I go to catch, then I flash my glove and catch it. Everyone got it? Yeah, I don't, don't run want... with your glove like this. 
Well, I don't want to run with my glove like this or like this because if I do, I can't run very fast. So run, and then when it's time to catch, catch. Infield work. What do we work on? Getting what? Keeping your back straight. Yeah, back flat. And keeping your hands. Hands out front. Which way around the cone did we go for righties? Right. 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 I'm always getting to the right of the ball, right? We had the cone sitting there. We got to the right. Got it? You guys remember what our footwork is when we get to the ball? Yeah. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Right, left. Right, left field. Right, right left throw. Left right. Left is his opposite. Right. Um, what did Coach Wing teach us today down there? Did Coach Wing teach anybody thing something down there? Hunt the fastball. I like it. Get aggressive to the fastball. Good. What was he talking about with your bat angle as you get ready to hit for those guys you talked about? Earlier? Yeah, trying to get myself set up so that my knob is to the catcher. Good. Ah, change up trick. You learn how to do a change up. All right, fastball change ups. Yes. I like it. What are you working on? Getting under the ball? Very good. Starting, Starting low, working up. Always being underneath the ball. I like it. Yeah, feel the barrel coming right off of your shoulder, staying nice and tight. And everyone understood that hover drill, yeah, yeah. working forward oh, as we happy load back. Happy, happy Gilmore. Gilmore today. Yeah, happy good. Okay. Any questions about any of that? Alright. Hi. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Let's talk for um a couple seconds about what we're going to do today at practice, right? Uh, base running. What we're going to do, two things. We're going to work on going first to third, okay? So if you're going first to third, let's say this is second base right here, and I'm going that way, all right? So I get my secondary lead, right? Let's say the ball is hit for a single. I'm going to try, basically it's the same thing as going home the second. So I'm going to run hard just to the right of the base, about five feet in front and five to the right, so that I can cut this corner of the base right here. Dip my inside shoulder and get in line with third. Make sense? Now, what am I going to do when I get about right here? And I'm not sure. Let's say the ball's hit to the right side. And I'm not sure. I can't really see it. What do I do? Look at the third base coach. I pick up my third base coach. So watch, I pick him up. He's saying, go, go, go. After I pick him up, I look down at the bag and hit the bag in the inside corner. Everyone got that? Yeah. I want you to see your foot hit the bag. There's no reason to miss bases. Who missed a base at some point this year? Okay, some of you are lying. How many times, we saw it 10 times this year, at least, guys missing the base, all right? So it can't be find your coach and then just hope that you hit the base. See your eyes hit the base, okay? After you hit the base, I see it. What do I do next? Pick up the third base coach, because he might say, come on, come on, come on. You hit the bag and all of a sudden the guy gets to it quicker than he thinks. You look up, he might say, hold it right there, and you've got to slam on the brakes. Got it? If he says keep coming, you just keep going. Makes sense to everyone. Yeah. Now, in a game, if the ball's hit to left field or center this way where you can see the ball, I recommend that you watch the ball and you make your own decision. Some of your teams might tell you, no, no, no. You pick up the coach no matter what. So today, we'll pick up the coach, all right? This means go. This means stop. Everyone got it? Yep. Okay. So Nick, Nick will be the third base coach. We'll have three bases lined up. He'll say go. You'll take your secondary and run. 
he's going to say, come on, or he's going to say, hold it up right there, okay? If he says, hold it up, right, so you're coming here, you pick him up, he says, hold it, I'm just into the bag right here, and I'm on the bag. We're not overrunning the bag, okay? Okay. The last thing we're going to do, base running. Let's say you're at second base, and there's nobody out, and there's a fly ball in the outfield that you can tag on. What should you do? Tag up. Right, tag up. Nobody out. We want to tag up and get the third. Everyone got it? What if there's one out? One out. I shuffle. It's a fly ball. What do I do? Yeah. Why? What do you got? So what should you do? All right, so watch this. Everyone pay attention because a lot of guys screw this one up. One out, shuffle, shuffle. Balls hit the air. I don't run back because what if it drops? I only go to third. You can stay in the double play still in order. Now you have first and third. So balls hit. I go halfway. I read the ball. The deeper the ball goes, the more I can come off. The shallower the ball is, the more I come this way. What happens if the ball drops now? What do I, where do I get, you think? Home. Home, yeah. But if you come back and tag, you won't get home. What if you're halfway and the guy catches the ball? I run back to the bag. Now there's two outs, but I'm still in scoring position. So no outs, we tag. One out, halfway, he catches it, we go back. He drops it, we score. Everyone got it? Okay, that's what we're doing tonight. Infield. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. For the infield portion, we're going to make a box. Okay? So we'll have four cones. You're going to do this. You're going to start at this back corner. You're going to sprint to the front cone. You're going to get your glove down and you're going to shuffle all the way to the next cone. Glove on the ground. Then you're going to backpedal as fast as you can. And you're going to put your glove down and you're going to shuffle to this cone and you're done. You all got it? So we're working on being out front with your glove, but learning how to get our hips down and our back flat. Everyone got it? This will not be good. All right? You got to go all the way down. Some guys are going to be really tight. You're only going to be able to get there. But if you keep working on it, you should get lower. Okay? Outfield. We're going to hit you a ground ball. We're going to pretend there's a man on second base. You're going to charge the ball. You're going to feel that just outside your front foot, just outside. And you're going to make a throw into that net right there. So it's going to be a little competition, OK? Our throws can't go way up in the air. Why can't we, man on second, single, why can't we throw the ball way up in the air? Huh? Yeah, what else? That? Yeah. Well, the hitter can just go to second. Eric Wing, I got a question for you. How many times this year so far, Peyton, you can answer too, Hayden too, Tobin too. How many times so far this year have we hit a single, a man on second, they've thrown the ball home, and we've taken second base? Too many. Too many. It almost happens every time. Every time. Eric's done it a ton. Everybody here has done it. They're just giving us a free base. So where should the throw be? Nope. You gotta throw home, but the ball's gotta be low. Through, you're gonna pretend there's a cutoff, man. You should throw it right through his head. How many bounces should it take to get to the target? One. Yes, one. It's called a long hop. If that camera's the catcher for the net, it should come in, bounce here, and go right into the net. Everyone got it? Now, if you got, if you got a strong arm and it's a shallow ground ball, you can come up and fire it to the net in the air, but it's gotta be low. We're not gonna throw any hand grenades 100 feet in the air. Everyone got it? So we'll do that. Then we're gonna hit fungos today, okay? And you're gonna call it. We're gonna have three outfielders. We're gonna hit it anywhere. You've gotta call the ball loud three times. I got it, I got it, I got it. Cool. If you're not going to catch the ball, 
you get behind them. All right. Pitching, you guys are on Sam and uh, Robbie. Catchers, you guys will be with Griffin. Hitters, you guys are going machine work. Then you're doing Happy Gilmore drill, okay? Watch the Happy Gilmore drill. This is what I call the Happy Gilmore drill. Feet together. It's like the hover drill. Feet together. When I pick up this foot and start to move, I'm going to load my upper body. Everyone see that? Load as I move. I'm not going to do this. That was everything going forward together. This is lower bodies going forward, upper bodies loading back. Everyone got it? So it's here. Here. Okay? That's on two of the T's. And then we're going to do the same thing. One hand, one hand. Now, everyone watch me real quick. I don't want one hand like this. Everyone see that? I don't want it all your arms. I want the bat to stay close to your shoulder like that. Everyone see? If the bat's too heavy, choke up. If you got to keep choking up, keep choking up. When I go top hand, not this. It's got to stay tight to your shoulder. Cool? And down here, you guys are going to hit like yesterday. Okay? Regular swings. Any questions? Hey, get your leads again. Listen up. Two shuffles. Two shuffle. No, get your lead. Okay, get your lead. On your secondary. Two shuffles. Then you go. Then you pick up coach. Good. Pick them up. Yep, make sure you pick them up early. Hit the bag and then pick them up again. Yep. Hey, when you tag, you got to look for an imaginary ball. You can't just stare at coach. We're not telling you when to go. You got to find the ball and then we'll say go. Everyone got it? Find the ball. Yeah, go no outs for a few just so they learn it. Yeah. No, no outs. Ready. Secondary. Back and tag. Ball. Find the ball. Go. Yeah, hey, and get into a running stance. In a running stance, don't just turn sideways. Running stance, turn your head and find the ball. Ha! All right, good. Good. Okay. Oh, first baseman. Good. Wait. Oh, yeah, Joe. Good. Moving your feet. How old are you? Pretty good. Keep working under it. Oh, boy. Hit the target, it's three. So the orange target. Alright, so Blue Jays over here, Dogs over there. What do we, what should we play to? Eleven? We'll see we'll see who can win if we play to eleven, alright? All right, so we'll go one at a time. Alright, you two, rock, paper, scissors, whoever wins goes first. What do you get if you win? Three. Best one or one. Yeah, right. yeah. What do you go win? Let's go win. Sorry, Oh, right there. Oh. 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 Minus one for hitting my Gatorade. Hit him. It's a bomb, oppo bomb. Eric's so afraid right now. Somebody get him an L screen. It's only a light flight ball, they don't go anywhere. Put a glove on that face. Yeah. 
All right, G, you got it? Yeah, G. No, G. Come through it. Jeez, G. Whoever's running beats that out. Throw him out. Hey, when you attack it, attack it fast. Hey, get to the ball quick. Guys, guys sprinted home. If you jog and lallygag, guy's gonna beat it by 20 feet. When the ball is hit, go get it quickly. You gotta get off the ground fast. If you jog to it, guy's gonna, the guy's gonna be safe. You gotta get there quick. You better hurry up. My grandmother's gonna beat that. Even G's safe there, pal. All right, take your lead. All right, we got the young guns going right now. All right, two shuffles. Shuffle, shuffle. Get back. back, tag up, find the ball. Find the ball over here. Hey, you guys, when you get to the base, get into a runner's stance like this. See this position? Everyone watch. See this? And then you can go. You're like in the sprinter stance. Don't be on the back part of the bag. We don't want to be back here on the back part of the bag. In the front part of the bag. All right? Feel short from the inside. Out of the way. Upper body back as lower body forward. Shout out to Eric. Out of the way. Out of way. Oh yeah, good pass. Gee, how's the hitting going? It's going great. Gee, why do you always find your way to the camera? I don't know. The camera finds me. <laughs> the camera finds me. What? Oh my god. Go! Yes, sir, yes, sir. There's our oldest camper. Flash! Oh my god! Wow! Who's up, Hawk? We need a relief or no? We need a relief? You good? Gee, why don't you go stay in the batter's box with them? Huh? You ever stand on the other side? No, you're almost in the batter's box. I love being in the action. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coach Matt, give me a bat. I'm going to get a bomb. All right. Oh, no. I don't think that one's got the distance. Come on, G. Come on, G. Do something. Do we have Do we have Backstreet Boys on right now? Yes. You gonna take that? That's intentional. That charged the mound. Put a tent over this circus! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. How do you let G do that? G. Talk about your speed right now. <laughs> oh! Bravo! Bravo! Hey, they got the shift on you. Get off the plate a little bit. Take it to the right. Right there! Here we go, here we go. Shut down. Let's go. 
Put the shift on him. Look at this. Coach Coach Connor. Give him a 20 second. I give him a full. Ah! Good positioning. Uh oh. Perfect positioning. Tag it down. What an ugly slide there. Don't. Big matchup pair, Sam Bellavo versus Miles O'Neill. Watch him strike out. The ball. It's a fair ball. That's a fair ball. Go to. Who's that, Max? Yeah. Okay. This is the plan for today. We're going to talk about it. Then you guys will go over there. You'll stretch and you'll throw. Okay? So, tonight, we're not going to use the cage for hitting, okay? We're going to hit on the field. So, we're going to hit off this machine. You'll be able to get live hitting in so we can see the ball go. And we'll also get to play live defense against balls that are getting hit at us. Everyone got it? So, we've worked a lot on drills, hitting drills, coil drill, hover drill, happy Gilmore drill. Um, we've done all that stuff down there. Now, let's take it to the field and implement the stuff you did, okay? So your, your normal swings, but you're thinking about some of those things that you worked on over there. Cool? So we'll do that. Um, we're gonna have another group base running, okay? So everybody, stand up and come with me to first base real quick. If you're base running and you're at first base, you get your lead, coach goes like this, he goes to put the ball in the machine, you take two shuffles, the ball is hit, and you read the ball and do what the ball tells you. Everyone got it? I have a question. Yes. What if the ball is hit straight at you? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Huh. Just like a game. Yes. What if the ball hits the net right there? Yeah. Yeah. The ground, like that net right there? Yeah. If it's a ground ball, you play like a ground ball. The line drive, play like a line drive. So, listen. Everyone on me, I got questions. Coach will tell you how many outs there are. Let's say he says nobody out. Let's say I do my shuffle, my secondary lead, and the ball is hit on a line, what do I do? Freeze. Okay, hold on. So I teach one step back. Because if you just freeze and the ball is caught, you're pretty far off the bag. You'll probably be even further. You'll probably be here. So what happens if it's hit to the second baseman line drive and you freeze? You're out. What happens if it's hit to the second baseman and instead of freezing, you take a step back? You're and that, closer Yeah, I'm closer, right? And if the ball goes over his head, I can still go to second. Everyone got it? Yep. Okay. What if I'm no outs, I take my secondary, and the ball is hit in the air? What do I do? Take it back. Huh? If it's, if it's far back, then. Okay. It's got to be really far away for me to be able to tag up at first base. Everyone got it? Mm -hmm. And my guess is, if the ball's crushed really far away, it's going to probably be a hit. So what I would do, nobody out, ball is hit in the air, depending on where it's hit, the further out it goes, the further I can get out here. What if it's a deep fly ball to, to pretty deep left field, way down there? How far do you think I can get off? Probably all the way You can almost get all the way to second base. So watch, the ball's hit, I go out here. Now it's caught, what do I do? Run back. Run back. Straight up. What happens if I go like this and I touch the mound? Touch it. You have to touch the base coming back. Everyone got it? You go over the base, you got to touch it on the way back. Two outs, first base. Ball is hit. What are we doing? Running. No matter what. We're running no matter what. Okay? All right. So that's what we'll do at first. Come to second. I got my lead. Coach puts the ball in. There's nobody out. 
I take my shuffles. No one out. Deep fly ball. What am I doing? Tagging. Getting back. Get here. Tagging. When he catches it, if I think I can make it, I go. If I don't, I can give a couple hard pumps. Stop. Okay. I got my lead. One out. Secondary. Ball is hit pretty good to the outfield. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm getting off. The further the ball goes out, the further I get off. If he catches it, I run back. If he drops it, I score. I should score. You got it? Two outs. With two outs, should I lead in the line? Should I lead back? What do you think? Why? Exactly. Two outs. I move back a few feet so that now I got an angle to score. Everyone got it? Am I going on contact? Okay. No outs or one out. There I am. I take a secondary. It's a ground ball to the third baseman. What am I doing? Yep, so I'm probably just going to sit here and read it. Depending on your level, if you're at a high level and he throws it, you're not going to be able to get there. If you're at a low level, you can wait. He throws it, you might be able to go, depending on your speed. Okay? What happens on a ground ball to the second baseman? How about to the first baseman? How about to my left? And you wait as long as the shortstop to throw at the first and then you go. 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 If it's to your left, I can go and make it. What if it's to my right? I gotta be back. Yeah. I don't go anything in my right. What if it's right at me? What would help me know whether I go or stay if it's right at me? What do you think? No. Huh? Absolutely. What if it's hit soft? I can go. If it's a slow chopper, he's not going to come all the way up, pick it up, and throw me out. What if it's hit hard? I'm back. Yep. Everyone got it? The only way that doesn't work is if for some reason I look at the infielders and the shortstop for some reason is playing way over there. And I know a ball hit at me, he can't get to the ball. I can go. Okay? So know where your shortstop is. What if it's back to the pitcher? Back. back. It cannot go. That's the trickiest one. You know how many times we've seen ball of the pitcher, we go to run and we go, oh no, pitcher got it, and then you're out. Everyone got it? Okay. Go to third base for a minute. You're at third. Where do I take my lead? In foul territory. Foul territory. Why? So we can hit with the ball. You're not out. What if I get hit with the ball and I'm here? Yeah. Row. So you're getting foul territory. So I take my secondary lead. Now the ball is not hit. How do I get back? Uh, you go in fair territory. I go in fair territory. Why do I go in fair? So if he tries to throw down. down. Yeah. He's the third baseman. would be coming in here to catch the ball. If you're here, you're in his way. Where's the ball going to hit? You. Yeah, right in the back of the head. It'll be good. It's right in the back. It'll sting for a second, but you'll be safe. Okay? So if I see them picking off, I can run right at the guy's glove. Because he can't catch it if I'm in the way. Okay? Well, it's one out. Ball is hitting the air. What am I doing? Back. I'm back to the bag. I'm tagging. Am I watching the ball? Yes. yes. Who here is taught by their coach to not watch the ball? Get like this, and when he yells, go, you go. Okay, here's my thought on that. What do you think's quicker? For you to watch the ball and go once he catches it, or for you to go here like this, wait for your coach to see it caught, say, go, and then you run. You watch the ball. So I always teach watching the ball. Watch the ball. I'm not telling you to not listen to your coach, but I know this is way quicker. If you can't see the ball caught and run, then that's a problem, right? You should be able to get ready, see it caught, go, right? If you want to play baseball, you got to be able to do that, all right? <clears throat> Let's say I get a lead, all right? I take my secondary lead. There's no outs. The infield's playing back, and it's a ground ball infield. What am I doing? 
I'm going. What if the infield's playing in and there's nobody out? What, what would your coach say to you, you think? Will he say anything to you before the pitch? G, you're at third. Nobody out. Infield in. Huh? 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 Take a big load. You take it. Get off. And then free. See if they try to throw. And then either they throw it and you get off. And then if not, you can. You're confusing the hell out of me. Like if they throw it to first. Think about this. I got my lead. Infield's in. Nobody out. What do you think we're doing on a ground ball in the infield? Hang back. Stay in here. Right. I'm staying here. Ground ball? I'm back. How am I going to go home if they're playing in? Now, if there's one out, what could your coach tell you on that? If he does, if he does the first go. You could, but what's another option? Have you ever seen infield in and your coach says, hey, we're going to take a gamble here. Go home on a ground ball. You ever seen that happen? Yeah. No? Okay. Well, you got to... <clears throat> if you play at a level high enough, right, like you get to high school, who here is in eighth grade? Okay. When you go to high school, even younger, I'll do it. I get my lead. I'll tell the guy before the pitch, hey, we're going to gamble here. We're going to go home on a ground ball. Why would we do that? You might, yeah, but what does that do as an infielder? When the ball is hit and this guy gets a good jump and you gotta quickly they throw gotta him out of him. They gotta make a play, right? So it puts a little pressure on him. They gotta make a quick play. In a in a perfect throw. Right? So I might do that if I think the infield's not that good. I might do that if I think the baseline is really fast. I might do that if I think the on deck hitter is not that great of a hitter. Right? I might say, I don't want him up with two outs. I want you to try score. Okay? Everyone got it? So those are some things that the coach is thinking about. Alright. Line drive, what do I do? Less than two. Back. Back. Okay? Did I miss anything? Nothing. Alright. That's all I got. So that's what we're working on on the bases today. Coach will tell you how many outs and you play it accordingly. Read the ball. Okay? Alright. Hey beyond three! One, two, three! Hey! There you go. Good work. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.